But what a song can do is it can underline the emotion of what the scene is. So if you think about a scene and two characters are having a problem and they're angry at each other and they can't say, I'm angry at you because you hurt my feelings. But if they sing a song, they can explain exactly what they're going through. I never, ever, 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 ever felt so sad. 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 I listened to a lot of songs that I liked and I put together a playlist of songs and then I sort of hummed into a tape player a little melody, and none of these were what the song sounded like at all. But what they were, were they were signposts for Debbie to understand what the emotion of the song was, what I was trying to get across, and also how much more talented she is than me. So this solved a lot of problems. She could hear these things and be like, well, I know why I have this job. When Mo approached me about writing the show, he said, we've got these fun characters, we've got the story to tell, and now we want to add music to it. We had a really fun time listening to lots of different kinds of music to try and figure out what is, what's their groove, what's their playlist. So what we came up with was the sound of theirs is, is a little timeless, maybe a little more old fashioned, but fun. <laughs> It's bouncy and it's fun and it has a little bit of an improvisational feel. Improvisational meaning that you're kind of making it up as you go. And also in Mo Willems' books he has a lot of, of funny words. Boink, zap, brr, eep. That's where we, we brought in jazz just a little bit because in jazz they do that. They improvise vocally and they would, they would do scat. So they'd go do ba do ba do ba da ba do ba ba do ba do ba do ba ba do So Elephant and Piggy should scat too. We played a lot with the choreography. We played a lot with the music. How would the music help build this tension so that you know they're having fun and then it's getting harder for Gerald and it's getting trickier and all of a sudden he's on the spot. I cannot dance. I don't believe it. No. Really? He moves through a big freak out about dancing that we needed everything on stage to help us build to that moment. So it didn't just come out of the blue in this party, but that it built and built and built until it exploded. I, I thought that the script really opened up an avenue to translating the books into the language of theater through music and choreography. and scenes together between Elephant and Piggy that I thought were unique, but at the same time very reflective of the spirit of the book. A song is successful when you can no longer remember who did what to the song. That the song took over. And it's not about the music, it's not about the lyrics, it's about this fusion, this life that it creates on its own. I love your hooves, love your snout. You make my life more fun. You know what you were all about. Yeah, I gave it that zip and zoom. I feel so happy, and I know why. There's a piggy in my style. <laughs>